one would argue in our communities and our personal lives where the notion of a leader is is kind of based on that bombastic loud um strong solid pillar larger than life kind of person the person that steps into the into the middle of the circle and commands it this charismatic individual all of the kind of stereotypes and paradigms and archetypes and whatever else you can think of and that is effective in certain circumstances the problem is is that approach no longer serves us and in today's modern society in today's modern workplaces with the the operations that we have the projects the 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 different market conditions all of those things that model of of leadership that leader centric model has to change and i get it i totally understand it because a lot of us grew up that was our model of leadership so one of two things happen we would either go too far soft with individuals and we would let them you know kind of run amok or we we're leading with an iron fist and leading by a culture of fear and you will do this and and so on so kind of those two extremes. Well, I'm here to tell you that somewhere in the middle is the right answer. And what does right look like? What does right look like? Leaders eat last, but they always go first. So what that really means is that leaders eat last means you support your team. You support them. You give them the resources, the training, the time, whatever kind of support, the coaching, the mentorship, whatever, whatever you need to give them, you give them. And in fact, on our operation, we didn't use the word chain of command or the phrase chain of command. We used chain of support uh, because as the leader, that was ultimately my job. So whatever, there are three or four levels between myself and the front line. And when I say between, I'm using air quotes. And so it was really, really difficult for me to interact with the individuals on the front line. But my job actually was to support them ultimately and, and working from that that level back and every layer we put in place was to support and not to command so that's uh that is a very clear and very effective example of leaders eat last so support your team it's not a chain of command it's a chain of support so it's always about putting the team first so that's the leaders eat last part 